Join me on an exhilarating journey as I dive into the dark and thrilling world of Deathbound in my full walkthrough video series. Dive deep into this immersive world filled with intense combat, intriguing storylines, and challenging enemies. As we explore the game mechanics, uncover hidden secrets, and unravel the mysterious backstory of our warrior protagonist. Whether you're a seasoned warrior or a newcomer in the grim fantasy world of Deathbound, this walkthrough will provide valuable insights and entertainment. Hit subscribe or click the link below and ring that bell for daily action-packed uploads.
Comrade Yulia, this plan is simply not feasible. We've already drawn too much attention from Krula's Goni soldiers. I agree with Comrade Camilla. Besides, another raid might stir things up a bit with the rest of the cult. Comrades, uh, have we really come to this? Centrists who refuse to help those in need for... Uh, for what? Hmm? Political bickering? I stand with Comrade Yulia. We know better than the children of life if we just sit back and pray for the goddesses. The fact is, comrades, that 15 people stand to be executed by the church only a day's march from here. One is a woman who fled all the way from Klingzar because of her magic. That could have been your fate too, could it not, Comrade Bruma? Hm? If the Ace of Zari movement hadn't rescued you. And the same goes to you, Comrade Renatos. And me. Very well. All in favor of Comrade Julia's plan, raise your hands. This room... I never knew it was here.
and sisters, the cult to life can no longer stay quiet about Mr. Solon's followers and their experiments. Tales of their work have already reached the church, and it is only a question of time before all of us pay the price. Solon Legiones, you have the floor. Brothers, sisters, members of the cult of life, I know you are scared, but no change is without risk and sacrifice. My comrades at the Children of Life tendency would tell you to do nothing, to have faith in the goddess, sit back and pray. Aren't you tired of only praying? But, but, we do have to pray. We are nothing without our mother. It is she who protects us, and she has a plan for us all. Do you really believe it's just a coincidence? We found the tools and the means to search for immortality right here in Akratia. It is clearly a blessing from the goddess. Is it not true that many of you were saved by our research already? Turning your back on us is not just ingratitude. It's turning your backs on the goddess herself. But the last thing I want is to be the cause of so much strife between our sisters and brothers. Which is why, effective immediately, me and my comrades, who some of you mockingly call essence monsters, are breaking away from the children of life tendency. and continue our work independently. We've come too far to stop now. I urge those who share our dream of life eternal once again to join our ranks. I am sure the goddess is working through us to set us all free. We have never been this close to life everlasting, brothers and sisters. Now is not the time for fear. Soon we will have our goddess and her gift back. It says here, Nito, the Thunder Hidetaka. The prophet? The first to die. The motherfucker who started it all. This room must be some kind of place of worship. A temple.
the very heart of the prophet here. But where is it? Maybe the church already has it. It does not. This... this must be the most sacred relic in the entire world. I wonder who has it now. Maybe it found its way into a butcher shop. Praise, Praise be the prophet, prophet of death. death. To, to him, him all glory and all honor. Blessed, blessed be the first among the mortals. The first, the first of the first prophets of our land. Magarus of Mariva, Sergeant at Archduke Pobo's militia, servant of Lady Death. And you better watch your fucking steps round me. That ought to teach you a lesson, you piece of shit. 
stealing from the boss is not smart. Think it through next time. Hey, guys, uh, <laughs> let me kill him. <laughs> you what now? I, I wonder what it feels like. You know what? Knock yourself out, you little maniac. No. No. Please. I have no sad story to tell. Wasn't beaten by my papa. Mama wasn't a whore. I just enjoy a good old-fashioned black shit. Is this the card. one? Yes, my lord. The young fuck who gutted that man. This little vermin here. Fought and won against two of my men, twice his size. Oi! Let me go so I can bugger your daylons ass too, if you fancy. I'll give you a silver coin for it. Oh, fuck off, you pervert! I was just kidding! You fucking touch me and I'll bite your wanker off! A silver coin it is, my lord. Say what you will about the Archduke. The man's got an eye for a long-term investment. You will grow up to be his own personal baseball. I saw everything, my lord. He, he killed the kids first and made them adults to watch. Oh, come on. I overheard you talking, my lord. These were the fuckers who were blackmailing your mistress. Why did you assert Has this? anyone else seen what happened here, Sergeant? No, my lord. Just got here and caught this bastard in the act. Very well. Finish him off. Agoros. What? I think I'm in need of a new sergeant. Let us feast in honor of Sergeant Agoros of Mariva, most loyal lieutenant to our Archduke Ascaron of House Corbel. I, uh, I needed to speak with you. I am quite, uh, um, disappointed with your latest uh, service. Oh, yeah. And why is that, your eminence? The, uh, uh, the last one you sent me was, uh, well, he's too old. <laughs> I beg your pardon for the appalling oversight, your eminence. I'll be sure to... A quit to your refined taste next time. I'll even throw in a little extra something for the inconvenience. As long as I kept bashing skulls for the Archduke, he'd give me a wide berth to deal with my little side businesses. No questions asked. As if he gave a fuck. That fine nobleman. Lady Hines, that pompous bitch, once told me something about it being better to be feared than loved. What? I they, they had nothing to do with it! Do you think it's a rebellion? Get and seven death! Please, part of my son! Yes, we accept! Please, Emma, please! Help me. We are faithful! We accept death!
to be absolutely fucking terrified of me. Oh, bugger. Sergeant Agarus reporting for duty. We are in need of your mighty hammer, Sergeant. And that you shall have, Sir Kinslayer. Please, Goddess, please. Not him. Oh, didn't you miss me, love? After all we've been through. This is purgatory. I'm in it for my sins. Seems we have an undeniable connection, eh? I, a bond forged by fire! <laughs> this is damnation! And you better get used to it, cause I'm gonna be your fucking nightmare! Quiet! For God's sake, all of you, shut the fuck up! Have you come to apologize? What for? Never pictured you as one to play games? I'm talking about my comrades you and your lot turned into abominations. I don't understand why you're so upset. If you're going to be deliberately obtuse, perhaps we should do the whole cult a favor and end you now. Your soldiers volunteered to us, not the other way around? And your so-called abominations are simply the most formidable warriors you've ever seen, are they not? But if you feel inclined, mayhaps we'll take them back, yes? Even that very large fellow. We know you've been training it. That gong trick. Quite insightful, I must say. Let us speak plainly, shall we? Your movement is stagnant, isolated within the cult, and has not enjoyed any militaristic success in years. You need us, if you're to have a fighting chance. But I've a new proposition. Next time you combatants set off for a raid, deliver to us any prisoners you take. We'll use them as our test subjects. And in exchange, we'll keep supplying you with near unstoppable soldiers for your army. What do you say? No member of the cult is to become a toy in your hands ever again. We have an agreement.
just as I was taking a liking to the big bugger. You cannot be serious, Sergeant. Come on, sir. At least you've got to respect the bloke's commitment to violence. <sighs> Neither of us can die. So what's the point? For the fun of it, church boy, that's why. Something tells me you'll have more of what you seek, Agaros. Indeed. It has got quite a thing for us. Nice fella. You're hiding, coward! Don't you taint our leader's name, Deathian scum! Then let him appear and end this curse of mine. Do so, and maybe I'll grant you heathens a swift demise. I don't know how a single man has made it through all our subjects, but good luck with what's coming next. I'm not here to listen to little dogs barking. Where is the big dog? Where is Solon Legionis? He's dead. You dare call him a coward. You know nothing. Fuck. Fuck the shit. Nay, his legacy will not be destroyed by the likes of you. This I vow. There was no greater champion for humankind. He was life's truest servant. But he wasn't prepared for the ritual. And now he's gone. Because of you. Death take me, what a boring old woman. So I'll grant you the blessing of the best death you could ever pray for. Well, now she's got my attention. I'm Yulia Chevlaskia, of the Ace of the Rim. What in mother's name? Please, in honor of our past alliance, you must end this curse. What are you? Aethalos. It... It seems Solon was not entirely wrong. There may be hope yet. We should we go... We should go back for the heart. It shall increase our chances should we be so stupid as to give it another go. Now we're talking!
course, the essence monsters have scrambled elsewhere. Uh, bloody magic users. Nothing but a bunch of soft belly wankers. Uh, no offense. What do you mean, no offense? How else would I take it? Uh, Solon is dead. We must devise a new plan. When did that stop us, mate? Wait, no, you're not suggesting. We find his body, absorb his essence, and there you have it. What if there's nothing left of him? One problem at a time, kid. Right now, it's our best shot. I'm uncertain of this course of action, but I know where the madman's corpse might be. I've been there before, the ancient healing grounds, where that unholy blast of light originated. Yes, the Essence Labs, our home. This place must be crawling with monsters. Oh, you got me on your side, love. Nothing to worry about. Sinjuari monk. Even where I come from, we hear stories of the Sinjuari's legendary fighting skills. Looks like this sucker couldn't fend for himself. Ogeti of the Sayabaka Nation, champion of the Sinjuari Order of Our Lady Death. Have your parents sent you, young one? Uh, yes, sir. You may call me Batufa Jatu. And what do I call you, child? Um, Momdile. And your last name? Uh, I... I was not given one, Batufa Jato. Mm. That will change. Come, get inside. Dea Mors Domina Nostra. Dona Nobis Elevationis Tuas. Dona nobis alentum, Dona nobis bellum, Dona nobis pacem, Deas mors domina nostra. youth, I earned the name Ugati, as in the palm tree that lent its shade to Our Lady when she first set foot on Ziemino. Perhaps I should 
just hop on one leg, yes? The new champion of the Shinjuari Order of Our Lady Death, Mamdele Orgate! Mamdele! Mamdele! I was honored to be anointed as Our Lady willed it, Batufa of the Sinjuari, the youngest. Oh, Batufa, oh God, they please help. Oh, Goya is still inside. No, Batufa, it is too dangerous to go in. I am not afraid. was not supposed to have happened. I was the chosen of death, a champion, the greatest warrior the Order had ever seen. Slow now, Batuva. Pace yourself. You must allow your body some time to heal. Penance in the name of Our Lady, who cleanse your sins and return strength to your legs. Suffering is the path towards mending our bodies and essences. You drink it now, my son. Drink it, and it will help. You must drink it all, boy. It'll infuse life back to your legs. This is foolish, Mamdi. You have not recovered yet. Just so. This is why I must leave, yes? There is a cure out there. I know it in my essence. Please, Batuva, do not act harshly. Just listen to us. I am not a Batufa anymore. But one day, it will be so again. May you always find sheep, my friends. I would not shame my honor by losing heart. If only I redeemed myself before death, did the right ritual, trained the proper moves, Bathed with the correct herbs, I will be the champion again. Oh! You better pay up, old man. Your dues are almost a week late. I've lost my patience. Please, sir! Towards the harvest, the, the, the winter... <laughs> warrior threatening a defenseless old man. <laughs> Tell me, is it free having no honor? How about testing your metal with a lion instead of a lamb? Which one of your craven vultures will be next? <laughs> if I may suggest, why not all of you? certain this was a trial. My lady was testing the boundaries of my commitment. There was one last to turn her enemy's knowledge into a weapon against them. Something's wrong. Stop it. That's enough. Yes, master. What are you doing? I do not feel any different. I know I promised you a cure, but it's too dangerous to go any further. It's your essence. It's unyielding. 
Like nothing I've ever seen. It must be his training. No, go on. I give my permission. I do not fear danger, yes? I'm sorry, my friend. I can't continue to treat you with a clear conscience. My decision is final. Please, I am begging you. I do not wish to die a broken man. Then I suggest you learn how to live as one, my friend. You deceiving coward. Mark my words. I will find what I seek. And when I do, there will be a reckoning. I pray to the goddess that you do. A chosen of Lady Death only falters if they lack training or faith. I lack no training. I lack no faith. I will be champion again. Mamdile, listen. I know you, you lord. Yes? And... Others, like stray memories. I know it's a lot to take in, but in a way, it may be exactly what you were seeking. Death delivers me. Can it really be? <laughs> I need to test myself. Restored. You are a remarkable warrior, Monk. Yes, it is so. But you have not seen any. The Lord Commander demands an audience with you, Damon. Yes, he knows what you are. I am aware of your true nature, creature. However, I shall not address you while you don such simpleton faces. People like you are a disgrace to everything God is death stands for. Bravo. <laughs> now, if you please, I have matters to discuss with Agaros or Sir Theron. So, you're finally back, Sir Theron after failing to perform the duty I tasked you with. I'd be severely disappointed, sir, had you not returned in a most fascinating condition. 
This current state of yours shall be of good use. Trapped between life and death, carrying the essence of the fallen. Prisoner of a thousand faces. Truly fascinating. You wish to speak, my lord? Speak. Indeed. Let us proceed to the business at hand. I have it on good authority that the essence monsters are in possession of the most sacred artifact. The heart of Nito himself, to him all praise and glory. And I must have it. So this is what my lord has been sacrificing our entire campaign for? To acquire the heart of our prophet, the first to die. Indeed. Imagine, Sir Gilman, what the essence monsters are capable of with such a relic in their possession. We must assure that it stays safe. It is our sacred duty. Bring me the heart and you also stand to gain whatever lies within the reach of your imagination. What is it you would desire most? More land? Riches? To become Lord Commander yourself? You merely need to say it. your pawn. I will pretend I did not hear that and give you some time to ponder. Please, do bear in mind. The essence monsters are not the only ones who can help you undo your plight. I can grant you the death you so desire. Here is a token of good faith. That is all. Dismissed. Is that man dead, Sergeant? It seems I got a little carried away, my lord. Did you manage to keep him alive long enough to confess? You wound me, sire. Of course I did. And? You were bloody right, my lord. That wanker Solon already found the heart. Hmm. No surprises there. But can it be taken? Well, these ugly tossers may look like they have the pox, but they're some tough bastards, I'll give them that. Lost a few good men, and almost my own head discreetly snatching this sorry bloke from the streets. And then there's their pet freaks. I reckon we're gonna need a bloody army, sire. Then it is quite fortunate that if Lady Hines acts as expected, I am in the process of acquiring one. I will be heading back to the capital to prepare, and you will remain here, Agoros. I have other plans for you.
just how good it feels to give someone a proper thrashing. By all means, mate. We have no shortage of foes. Now that's bloody music to my ears, love.
If you're looking for a fight, mate, maybe stick to an opponent in your league. Like my five-year-old daughter, perhaps? <laughs> Yes, Ilion, and you can see why. What is a Sintuari monk doing in Akratia? Well, you're on a worse state than I thought. Please let me help you, friend. What is your name? I am called Mowgli. Mine is Raphaeli, and this is my son, Ilion. Come, let's take you to our place, back in the lower streets. You were fortunate. To have stumbled upon the kindest heart in all of Akratia, monk. I agree, Spearwoman. It is strange how my most dishonored behavior led to my fondest memories. Welcome to life, mate. I don't see nothing strange about that.
We must reach the room that was torn in half. That's where Solon's corpse shall be. That's Lady Hines. How's that even possible? Olivia of House Hines, former Chancellor and Spymaster to King Aurelicus of Kulisgon, and somehow, to my deepest distraught and mortification, I got myself killed. that I honor. You see, Mother made a deal. Confess to what they wanted to hear so we both would be spared from her punishment. It's not fair! It's politics, young <laughs> sister. <laughs> there, there. What you had in mind would serve no purpose other than to expose our abilities, my dear. Then we'd share Mother's fate. And what would that accomplish? Hmm? 
None may know of our secret if we wish to survive. Do you hear me, Alorna? Or mother's death will have been for naught. Alorna was always so, so very young, even as an adult, especially as an adult, leaving family and inheritance behind to join her umpteenth lost cause. Oh my, aren't you a handsome fella? How old are you, darling? Oh, I'm 15, my lady. <laughs> I ain't no lady, love, but I'm a fine-looking strumpet, aren't I? Yes, ma'am. So, what are you and your mates celebrating? I suppose it's a bit gruesome, ma'am, but I killed my first chap last evening, and the fellas thought it was past time I became a man. I'll tell you a secret, love. I always had a thing for them ruffian types. Mmm. Makes me wet downstairs. Do this gal a favor and tell me all about this bloody business of yours. Just some noble squabbling, man. I don't know much about it. It was a valet of some fancy lord that hired us. He had three headed goat lying on his coat. I suppose you mean a chimera. So the traitor is Lord Briar then. The cruelest gone in crown thanks you for your services. My family's secret had always been an asset in my career. The dangers of being exposed notwithstanding, it allowed me to hastily rise through the ranks. That was the third raid just this month, Your Grace. The cult of life grows bolder with our inaction. But we mustn't hasten our response. Word has been spreading of a peasant revolt brewing in Smyrtolia. If we're not careful, we might end up fighting on two fronts. We can't leave these blatant attacks on our sovereignty unanswered. What shall we do? We arm the peasants. That is preposterous, my lady! You can't possibly- I want to hear what the Lady Chancellor has to say. My lords, for years the Crown has sought a pretext to launch an incursion into Smyrtolia. Were this revolt to reach a significant magnitude, Kulazgan would find itself obligated to intercede. Furthermore, the Church has long impeded the realm's attempts to expand its military and imposes heavy levies upon our lords. Under the guise of organizing the counter-revolution, Kulazgan could arm itself and plead a decrease in tides. That is a sound plan, Lady Hines. But you seem to ignore the issue of securing the coin to arm these peasants in the first place. Not at all, Lord Archduke. My little spiders brought me a rather disquieting tale of a lady of the realm, whose late husband bequeathed her a considerable fortune, who has been harboring Egisiromi heathens in her holdings. It is our duty, as death devotees, to report such heinous acts to the Holy Church. You do realize, my lady, that you would be perpetrating upon this woman the same fate that befell your departed mother, do you not? My king, it is only fitting to put one's first-hand experience to good use. Oh, the goddesses and their eternal cosmic struggle. What a timely so ever useful farce. The mortar that fastens our civilization against... My lady. Pray tell me, my lord, have you seen that creature of yours lately? Agaros of Mariva, I believe, is his Get name. Get to the point, my lady. 
My little spiders reported seeing Sergeant Argaros coming in and out of the forbidden city of Akratia on several occasions. That is most disconcerting. Do you not concur? You have not the slightest idea of what you are dealing with, my lady. Perchance you mean this? This is the Essence Mancer's doing, is it not? Are you in league with them? I was investigating them. You know as well as I that were the knowledge of what the Essence Mancers were doing to spread, chaos would ensue. I was about to report my findings to the king. Oh, what a coincidence. I was about to address the king as well. Shall we go together? You fancy yourself so smart, Lady Hunt. But you are not the only one uncovering secrets. And you miscalculated. Be extra careful. This woman is secretly a wielder of magic. That was my second deadliest blunder, underestimating the Archduke. Next thing I knew, I found myself in a church's dungeon. My condition as a mage laid bare to the world. I apologize, Your Grace. I really do. But no one is to talk to the prisoner. I am the king. Stand aside. This is a holy keep of the goddess, your grace. We must obey the church. Sirs, please. I am to face execution on the morrow. Might I not be granted a final audience with my beloved sovereign? We can give you five minutes, your grace. Milady, I'm sorry. I did all that I could. I even pleaded. A relic is shut up and listen. Do exactly as I instruct. Go directly to the High Priestess, invoke the Accords of 296 AFD, and proclaim me as your personal representative within the Church. The law is ancient, but it still stands. I'll swear fealty to the Central Committee of Faith and join a monastic order of mages. I'll publicly humiliate myself. Beg for clemency. You'll do the same if need be. Nay, nay, you'll drag yourself to that old hag's feet. Do you understand? Go, Aurelicus. Time is of the essence. And my king. It was Ascaron. He's a traitor. Stay clear of him. I had to act swiftly. Ascaron in league with the Essence Mancers meant he had grandiose ambitions, which he machinated. So I threw a modicum of chaos along his path. My lady, I must admit, I'm impressed. To bring about an entire crusade, now you have outdone yourself. It was all the Essence Mancers doing. I merely presented the evidence of their perfidious deeds to the deathly High Priestess. As a member of the Central Committee, she was obliged to hear me. Almost had a stroke, that poor thing. Now there's the issue of the traitor, Ascaron Pavel. Yes, I am afraid I am the bearer of dire news. The Archduke is a powerful man with powerful allies. He managed to be appointed Lord Commander of the Crusade. Something is amiss. Ascaron is taking too long a stride, taking too many risks. And now he endeavors to control the Crusade, certainly to protect his allies in Akratia. I'm afraid his ploy is much worse than a mere coup d'etat. The Essence Mancers must have something he desperately wants. But we cannot act without more information. Well then, I believe it is high time I pay a visit to my so little sister. I was Olivia until I met my demise. Was it Ascaron? The Essence Mancers? Perchance an opportunity unveils itself before me.
I lived to loathe chaos. Perhaps in death, I will do the same. Hmm, a very intriguing. Our lady. Highly unorthodox, certainly. Yet I am quite positive I can make the most of this situation. Yes, carry on, sir. I will have instructions for you and the others whenever I see fit.
of Nito. This is truly astounding. Oh my, it explains so much. Parbel mobilized this entire crusade to obtain the heart. It doesn't matter, sister. Not anymore. Can't you see it? We're on the verge of changing the world. Are you certain, Alorna? For what I can speculate, an object of such immense power would be extremely volatile. Solon believes it's worth the risk. Madmen. A madman on each side. We are between the hammer and anvil. Young sister, listen to me. Heart or no heart, you must realize you and your companions are out of time. The Church of Death comes, and although I did everything in my power to hinder them, it was not nearly enough. However, I may yet save you, dear. I have a safe passageway through Akratia's underground, where my agents enter and leave the city. But we need to leave without delay, and I beg you, bring the heart. It must not fall into Ascaron's hands. I can't, Olivia. It's too late to turn back now. I must have faith in Solon. Oh, I know all too well that stubborn look. I will not press you again, but please allow me to at least show you the underground passage as a last resort.
Dinge näher. Mariva. Don't you fucking call me that, you ugly cunt. My, my, did I hit a nerve. I would have thought you enjoyed the moniker. The butcher's nothing but a crude drudge. I'm a bloody artist, bitch. You know, I've always hated our birthplace. And you are a perfect example as to why. I find it highly satisfying that you'll become as ugly and monstrous on the outside as you are on the inside. <laughs> oh, no. That left me balls tingling. Be a lamb and give us a scratch, will ya? Impressive. Let us see how your body handles a higher magnitude. Oh! 